All right, so I am going to go through how to have a PowerPoint video and your presenters using a remote. Um, and they want to be able to play a video and then pause that video as it's playing and then come back to that video and hit next again with a clicker and it continue playing and um, possibility of doing that multiple times during a video uh, without starting the video over or going on to the next slide. Um, I looked a few places on the internet to find the answer to this and uh, nothing was really coming up except for one condescending guy and I really don't, don't find that helpful um, and he didn't really walk through how to do it. So I'm going to make uh, this video for that purpose. Uh, you may know a better way or easier way. Um, if you do, please, by all means, make your own video. Uh, but this worked for me and I want to go ahead and get it out there for anybody <clears> that might be looking uh, at instructions on how to do this. So let's go ahead and get going. I'll quit talking. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the PowerPoint and I've just made a really simple one. Um, obviously it's not the one that my um, boss needed, but this will do for our purposes. Uh, so we go to the slide that we want the video and we're going to insert video and so we'll just uh, find the video we wanted um, and for purposes of this video I'm just going to add one from the winter a couple of years ago at my house so we've got that inserted I'm not going to worry about embedding embedding it for this because um, we don't need that right now uh, so click on the video and um, like to set it to automatic for uh, this presenter is how they want it. So that video will start automatically. Um, and then as you can see over here in the animations pane, uh, oops, sorry, it's got those two separate things. So we want to go to the drop down for that box and the effect options and to timing and to trigger and make animate as part of click sequence and I can't talk. Um, and so those are together. So at this point, at presenting, if you're clicking, um, obviously it just goes, starts playing automatically and the next click pauses it. And then the next click just takes you to the next slide. Uh, it's definitely not what we need because we want to be able to keep, keep it on that screen um, and keep that video going as needed. So click on the video so it's selected. Then we go to animations, add animation, and add another play. And we're just going to be building onto that with play, pause, play, pause uh, until we feel like we've got enough. Uh, I feel like I'm going to add a few so that we have the option um, just because I'm not the one presenting and I don't know how many times the presenter at this point is going to want to stop and start. I just want to make sure that they have enough. It, it really doesn't hurt to give them several. Um, it's really not going to hurt anything at all because they can just click through once they're done. Uh, I'm just going to add a few. It's a fairly short video, so this one's not going to need a very many. Um, and I feel like what I've seen um, that you want to end with a play. Um, it just makes for good flow. The next thing you need to change is that every one of these plays after the first one, you want to go to them, go to the drop down, go to the effect options, and you want to select this from last position. And that is the part that ends up helping you just continue on from wherever it is that you hit pause. Um, I feel like even if it's a little bit nerdy, I got a little bit excited when I finally figured that out. I think it was maybe just because I spent an hour looking around and trying different things that weren't working. And, you know, it always seems simple once you figure it out. Um, what are you going to do? So, test this out and see if I did things right. Put in presenter, using the clicker, not the mouse. Here we are. Play. It's playing. I want to pause it. Pause. I'm going to hit play again. Pause. Click again. Pause. Click again. And then that was all mine, so I just let it play out to the end, or I could click that last play. 
and it goes on to the next one. So there you have it. I hope this helps. I hope this is what you were looking for. Um, and appreciate you watching. And good luck.